Hi everyone, welcome to KIF.com. This video is all about user management inside cPanel. So to manage users inside cPanel, on the left underneath the home tab, go to user manager. By default, you will see two accounts. The first is the primary cPanel account. This is the account whose login credentials are first sent to you when you sign up for a web hosting package. And this is also the account that is signed into on the client area when you use the single sign-on system through our website. The second account is a log account. It is also known as a service account. And this account provides you access to raw data that is logged by the system. The three icons to the right of each account denotes which privileges and permissions it has access to. So our KIF org account, main account, has an email account, FTP account, and web disk account privileges. Our logging account only has an FTP account with FTP privileges. So to create a new user, uh, at the top right in blue, go to click Add User. And now we need to enter some basic information about our new user. So we'll say his name is Joe. His username is joe at kif.org. And let's just say that he doesn't have a contact email address. In this case, we need to set his password. So if he had an email address, we would enter it here and then select the user will set the account password and then he will an email will go out to him and he can set his own password but we will generate one here for him confirm it here and now we need to determine which services we want Joe to have on his account we can go back and edit these services either adding or removing them later but initially we need to set something up so let's just say that we want to have an email account created for Joe and an FTP account. So the email account that is created will be joe at kif.org and it will have a password that is the same as his user password into cPanel. So just as creating any email account, we can set the quota and then the FTP account, we can set which directories we want his account to have privileges to. So in this case, we're going to want public HTML so that he has access to everything inside our website. And we can choose, again, the quota. Finally, on WebDisk, the same thing where we can choose which directory we would want to Joe to have access to. And then what I really like is you can switch or choose between read-write privileges and read-only privileges. So this allows uh, a level of trust that can be inserted there depending on the user. Finally, we'll click Create. And we have just created a new user for our cPanel account. We can see that it is Joe and he has an email account and an FTP account. We can see that if we log into email accounts and there is Joe. So that is user management inside cPanel. Thanks for watching.